Hey, and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about uh, one of my favorite hobbies, working out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and, you know, it totally shocks me whenever I make these videos because I totally, if you rewind six years ago to when I was morbidly obese, I was one of those people. Of course, I topped the scale at 288 pounds. When I jumped, everything jiggled, and I was not a lover of anything fitness at all. Um, when I was younger, I did play sports. I was very active, but to like go to the gym and work out, like even the seasons where I did that, I was so self-conscious about how I looked and all those fit people judging me, whether they were or they weren't in my mind, they all were. And a lot of times all that matters is what takes place in your mind because you know, we can make ourselves believe anything. However, to make a long story short, I did not like working out. I believed God made those. Come on, you wanna work out away from a good mood, people. And then he made me. I just didn't like it. And so somehow or another, when I decided to take the plunge, recommit to losing weight, I had been a weight loss failure for a decade, but we had two kids. And I read a statistic that shook me to the core. And I said enough was enough, I was gonna lose weight. And so when I made that decision, I went in search of what was like the very best, like, like program, the very best way to lose weight. And in my experience, the way you choose that is you look at the end result. You look at the fruit of the program, of the diet, of the whatever it is. So I started looking at before and after photos and every company has before and after photos, but the ones to me, that were just like, wow. Like the ones that you're like, there's no way that's not Photoshopped, that cannot be the same person. Were the ones where they combined fitness with nutrition. And those were the ones that every single time I was just like, man. And so even though I knew nothing about nutrition and I didn't like fitness, I picked that because I wanted the end result. And so I wound up losing 161 pounds in just over one year. I lost 100 pounds in my first 202 days, went from a size 22 down to a size two. Shocks nobody more than it shocks me. Get accused today of, you know, I'll post before and after photos on social media and I will get messages, you know, saying, that it's Photoshop, that I'm being fake. And when you're the one that has the photo, the before and after, and you know the work that you put in, it's like the best compliment ever that the person doesn't believe it's not Photoshopped. You're just like, because <laughs> you know it's not. Anyway, um, so today I'm a health coach, long story short. And I help men and women, mostly women, lose weight. And you know, so often people will say, well, Carmen, can I lose weight without working out? And the short answer is yes, you can. However, if you want to, if you want to multiply the rate at which you lose weight, fitness. So today I'm going to talk to you. Fitness, fitness is the way. So today I'm going to give you several different reasons. I'm actually three, three different reasons of why working out six days a week, 30 minutes a day, moving your body, fitness is so freaking important so important when it comes to your weight loss, all right? So first and foremost, let's just start with the obvious reason. Number, numero uno. <laughs> you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, period, end of story. If you're overeating, you're, you're eating more energy, food is energy, and when you eat more energy than what you're expending, your body stores that energy and turns it into fat, okay? So, <laughs> If it takes roughly 3,500 calories of a deficit to, to lose a pound. So the bigger deficit you're in every day, the more that adds up, the faster you lose weight. Well, here's the deal. Like there's only so, like you and I sitting here doing our daily activities, we only burn so many calories. The only way that you're going to increase the amount of calories your body is burning right now is to move more move more. You can always eat less. However, if you're not moving, and of course you want to eat less, but we're just talking about fitness, not nutrition. But when you, let's just say you do a workout that's 30 minutes and you burn 400 calories. That's an additional, you times that by six. 
let's just let's just say 500 for because I got to do math in public 500 times six let's just say you burn 500 calories six days a week that's an additional 3,000 calories you are burning every single week not counting an afterburn not counting any of those things just during your workout that would be an additional 3,000 calories that you're burning during your workout that you wouldn't have burned if you weren't doing fitness that you're not gonna burn just by sitting there watching the TV, clicking the remote, or by walking around in the kitchen. So if you're like, but I'm on my feet all day, completely different. I was on my feet all day and still morbidly freaking obese, busting out of a size 22. And so if you're really trying to compound the weight and you're trying to lose weight fast, not slow. Look, if you're like, Carmen, I'm fine at a turtle's pace. I don't want to lose weight fast. I don't want to maximize my results. I don't want to get the same results for the same work and effort or for the same. I don't want to lose twice the amount of weight in the same amount of time. No, thank you. I'm fine with the slow way. That's fine. I was not that person. I had been a weight loss failure for a decade and I so desperately didn't want to be overweight. I so desperately wanted my own before and after. I so desperately wanted freaking results. Like I was sick of failing. I was sick of being the fluffy chick. I was sick of feeling like, you know, I, well, not feeling. I was typically the biggest person in the room. Like I was, I was sick of it. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. You ever been there where you're just sick and tired of where you're at? And so I wanted results like yesterday. And so moving my body six days a week, 30 minutes a day, Okay, yeah, I could do that, especially if it's going to help me get results quicker. And you don't have to, like, sure, if you want to do an hour a day, that's fine. That's actually what I started with was an hour a day, 45 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes a day is what I started with my first year of working out. However, at least 30 minutes a day, six days a week, and 30 minutes a day is only 2% of your day. That's it. You still have the other 98% of your day to do whatever the heck you want with it. So it's going to help you lose weight twice as fast by working out. Number two, number two reason why you should have, why you should move your body six days a week, minimum 30 minutes a day, why you should have fitness in your life is it builds lean muscle. As we age, we automatically lose muscle. So if you look at somebody who's 20 and weighs 150 pounds, and you look at somebody who's 40 and weighs 150 pounds, their bodies are gonna look very, very different. Very, very different. Why? Because somebody who has never worked out or had fitness in their life, and they're 150 pounds, that a lot of that weight's gonna be fat, not muscle, because they've lost like 40% of their of their body muscle, of their of their muscle mass if you've never done anything about it. So often clients I'll work with, they're like, I haven't worked out since I was in high school. And uh, working out is not going up and down the stairs. I'm talking targeted workouts, um, targeted workouts. And let me just say, it doesn't have to be at the gym. I am a working mother of three. I'm a wife. I help my husband in his businesses with bookkeeping and all of that. I ain't got time to find childcare and go to the gym. I work out from home and it's gotten me killer results. I would never do it any other way, um, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> so anyway, um, but you're going to build muscle. And when you build lean muscle, and I'm not talking about dude muscle, like it's almost physically impossible for chicks to get all bulky um, by lifting weights, unless you, without taking some kind of, you know, thing to help you bulk up. Chicks just don't get bulky typically. Um, they just don't. However, when you're building lean muscle, when your body has the more muscle, lean muscle, your body has, the faster your metabolism speed, the faster your metabolism runs. And metabolism is when you eat something, the rate at which you break down the foods. And if you're breaking down the foods faster, then your body's not going to store as much as stored energy, AKA fat, and you're not gonna have these many fat stores on your body. So lean muscle speeds up your metabolism. It speeds up your metabolism. It, it, it means you can eat more. It means you, anyway, and, and for me, eating more is like hallelujah. All right, number three. Number three reason that you wanna be working out is I sincerely believe with everything in me that it next to plastic surgery that it is God's and fitness is God's anti-aging miracle thing. Like if you look at a picture of me, 
I am 40 years old. I'm 40. I'm 40 years old. I know, hard to believe, right? It's okay. If it is, if you can totally believe it and you're like, you look 50, that's okay. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Let me believe what I want to believe. I'm like, oh man, I'm 40. But if you look at pictures, I look younger than I did when I was 30. So how can I be a decade older, but look younger? My mom, who lost 148 pounds after watching me lose 161, looks younger. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Not all 40-year-olds look the same. Truth. Not all 60-year-olds look the same. Some 60, some 60-year-olds, 60 you look at them and you're like, grandma. <laughs> Other 60-year-olds, you're like, no way. Now, sometimes it's just good genetics. Other times, and, and, and some, you know, it's so funny. My, my son says to me, he says, mom, how come you look so much younger than all the other mommies? <laughs> and the truth is I was an older mom. Like I didn't have my first child until I was in my mid thirties. And so like, I'm actually older than a lot of the moms of his friends, but in his eyes, mommy, how come you look so much younger? And I'm what I'm like one of the only ones that works out. I carry a healthy weight and I work out six days a week. Um, it is like the fountain of youth. It does some, one of my best girlfriends started working out a couple years ago. And one of the biggest comments she got was, is you look so youthful. You look so young, like you look younger. Um, and it's like, yeah, my husband started working out uh, about four and a half, five years, about four years ago, every day he started working out. He jumped in after I'd been on the, uh, on the journey for almost two years. But if you look at a picture of him from six years ago and a picture of him today, he looks younger. And so working out is like this free anti-aging, keep you young, fight gravity as much as you can look. Everything, your butt's still gonna fall. Your arms are still gonna shake. You're, you know, no matter how much you work out, no matter how much you love fitness, um, can't believe I'm about to tell you this. Like a week ago, I know it was a couple weeks ago now, my daughter, she, my, my lovely daughter, she's like going like this to my arm right here, you know, right here. And she's like, mom, how come you have a little bit of loose skin right here? She's like, grandma has some too. I said, well, honey, that kind of just happens as you age. And her, my niece, she's like, does she have, she says, our, she, our, my niece's name is Alexis. And she says, well, does Alexis have loose skin? I said, no, honey, Alexis is only 15. She doesn't have that yet. Alexis is young. And she's like, well, mommy, you're young like Alexis. I'm like, oh, bless your heart, child. <laughs> anyway, but like, you know, there's certain things that you just can't, you're going to get some loose skin. I mean, there's certain things we're going to age. But by stinking golly, I'm going to give it everything I've got to fight that as much and as long as possible and to, um, you know, put myself in the best position to age as well as I possibly can. And it's not necessarily, it's not just about being vain and wanting to, you know, look good as I age. It's also about being healthy. I've been on many of airplanes where a woman cannot lift her, her carry on above her but 20 years ago she could. It's just because she's lost muscle. It naturally happens if you don't do anything about it. And truthfully, I could sit here and give you like eight more reasons to work out because there's so many health benefits to working out. Let's not even talk about the endorphins, you know, that it gives you and all of that. You know, people say you're one workout away from a good mood. It is totally true. People that work out, uh, levels of depression, the level depression does not affect people who work out and have fitness in their life nearly as much as it does of the people who don't. I don't know. All I know is, is if, if you would like to look, you feel younger. If you would like to lose weight quicker, if you would like to build lean muscle so that you reduce the amount of, I didn't even mention the loose skin. When you build lean muscle, you reduce the amount of loose skin you have after you've lost weight. If you want to just be a happier, better, more energetic person, you freaking need to work out. And this is coming from a chick who hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it. And now I cannot imagine life without it. And so, yeah, if you've been on the fence and you've been dragging your feet and you're like, oh, you work out and you feel like you're gonna die. 
I'm with you. I hear you. I felt that way. I felt that way for a good nine months. It took me nine months of working out six days a week before I finally, it's like a light switch. And I was like, I actually like this. When the previous nine months, I th thought someone was trying to kill me. I hated it. I loathed it. I dreaded it. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, I didn't do it and I missed it. And I was like looking forward to it. And I'm like, who am I? Like, who am I? And what have they done with Carmen? <laughs> so anyway, all right, that is it for our three things. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Ring the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We do upload four times a week here on the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.